We are on our way to Urzador in central Armenia, a landscape that looks barren at first, but in which hundreds of plants and animals live. This man is helping protect its biodiversity. Ruben Kachatrian, director of the Foundation for the Preservation of Wildlife and Cultural Assets. He's also a filmmaker. In his eco-club, Kachatrian teaches young people from the surrounding villages how to love their home region by protecting its natural assets. Their assignment today is to photograph indigenous plants. Two teams, ten minutes. And they're off. Kids like to play, and to play they need toys. We try to make video and still cameras available to them as toys, so that they can connect with nature. These toys help them get closer to nature. Time's up. Lilith Gazaryan's team gets back first. I like the Eco Club. I've found out about new plants and made new friends. We're protecting nature. That sets us apart from other teenagers. I want my green home to be even greener. I think about my health. If I protect nature, I'm also protecting my own health. Armenia has many environmental problems that urgently need solutions. Intensive farming, poaching, illegal deforestation. The young people at the Sun Child Eco Club use their short films to raise awareness. Some of their films have won international awards. One of them is Silent Scream. At first, it shows Armenian paradise with animals and humans in harmony. Then there's this, a bear confined to a cage to amuse its owner. Unfortunately, it's not unusual in Armenia. Thanks to films like this, the world at large can learn about this small country in the South Caucasus with its unique biodiversity and many environmental problems. <laughs>